have married my husband if he was broke. I'm just going to go ahead and tell y'all. I would not have married Michael Thompson if he was broke. And Jesus could not have ransomed us if he was broke. So I'm trying to understand why y'all up in arms about what the man Channing uh, uh, Crowder, that's, that's a different name, that's a different kind of name, child, was said about Russell and Ciara. Why are y'all mad about it? It's the truth. Can, can we can we normalize? Can we please normalize black women not choosing broke men? Can we normalize black women chooses choosing men who are well able to provide for us? Can we normalize black women choosing not? to marry struggle men and i mean struggle in every area because your husband is a choice boo boo your husband is a choice i don't see anything wrong with what the man says i wouldn't have married my husband if he was break broke and i'm sure ciara would not have married russell if he was broke why should she marry him if she married a broke man who was gonna take care of him her if i married a broke man who was gonna take care of me me Girl, my husband was up at 2 o'clock this morning and his car was here at 3.45 to get him on this plane to go where he needs to go. So why y'all up in arms? I'm sure that's not the only reason Ciara married Russell. That's not the only reason why I married my husband. And granted, my husband is broke for Ciara. You know, they're multimillionaires. But that's a part of the reason why, ladies, a man's ability to provide for you should be top of your list of why you choose your husband. Can we please normalize black women choosing not to marry struggle men? The problem is some people are not able to, 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 to make a division in their mind that yes, a man's ability to provide is why I marry him, I chose him, but there are several other factors that we use to choose our husband. But I guarantee you, if Russell was broke, Sierra wouldn't have married him. I wouldn't have married my husband. I passed up a lot of guys that were broke. You know what the problem is with a lot of these men and Ciara? They're mad that she would not have chosen them. Because you know why? They have the money, but they ain't got no character and integrity. They don't have a good name. And so that's why they are mad. But I just want to know, why are y'all mad? Oh, he's a square. Everybody can be a triangle. Okay, he's a square. And my husband is a square. I love squares. Okay, Russell is the type of guy that, that's my type of guy. My husband is like that very, very, very calm and very, just a man of character and integrity and a good name. So I don't know why y'all mad. Okay, it's Tuesday, baby. I love you. I miss you guys yesterday. Oh my God, I thought about you just a little bit because my baby daddy came home Monday night and he was home all day yesterday. Then he missed his flight last night. So then he had to come back home last and then he was leaped out. So I spent all day with my baby daddy yesterday. So that's why I didn't see you guys. But I love you. But don't forget, I said I was going to be stepping back a little bit from YouTube. I'm trying to get these books out. I love you. Thank you for those of you who have joined my Patreon. Books are starting to come out just a little bit quicker. I love you. Thank you for the cash apps. Thank you for my coffee. Thank you for those of you who picked up my books. Listen, 23 Types of Guys is reigning supreme. I'm going to be doing some readings from 23 Types of Guys because let me tell you, this book stay on top every month with the exception of when I get a new book out and then the next month it just go back. It just go right back to being number one. I absolutely love you and adore you. Let's go ahead and get in this, get in this um, article. Listen, don't, 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 I'm, and I'm writing a book on this. Don't be, don't be, excuse me, don't be moved when you don't fit in what people think you should fit in. Okay, don't don't be moving. As a matter of fact, I'm writing a book for that. I'm writing a book for that for especially for the kids and for because remember in school when they say you're a chicken, you're a chicken if you don't do this. So don't be mad. Okay, I'm a square and 
Square is equal. Square is even. A square is balanced. There's nothing wrong with the square. You know, my son, they had um, their, their back to Broadway extravaganza on Sunday. I don't know why they did it on a Sunday. They just disrupted my nap. But anyways, when he came home, I guess the teacher didn't tell them what they're going to be. Because when I got the paper, I said, oh, Michael, you're going to be a giraffe. He broke down. <laughs> not running. I want to be Simba. I want to roar. I want to be Simba. 30 minutes of crying. My husband said, don't you pick up that phone. Don't you email that teacher. I said, no, I'm not going to email. Everybody can't be Simba. There's 12 kids in the class and they all want to be Simba. There's only one Simba. <laughs> it's called the Lion King. Okay. The jungle. Somebody's going to have to be a giraffe. Somebody's going to have to be an elephant. And he made a cute little giraffe. He was so cute. And he was up front and he was dancing and he was doing his dancing. He was, he was, ooh, ooh. I was like, go ahead, Michael. You're a cute little giraffe. That's the one with the stripes, right? Giraffes. <laughs> Everybody can't be Simba. There's only one Simba. Somebody got to be a square. Somebody got to be a triangle. Somebody got to be an octagon. Somebody got to be a cone. Somebody got to be a circle. So don't be moved when people say things about you. You cannot fit in everything people want you to fit in. And the sooner you realize that, ladies, especially for my church girls that's dating for marriage, the sooner you realize that you are dating for marriage, you're taking your cookie off the table, you're going to choose a man that is everything you want or come as close as possible to what you want. As, long, as soon as you realize that, your life will be so much easier because you can't please everybody. So that's why I'm like, well, what's the uproar about? Okay, he is square, and He's a wonderful square. I've I've had I've had women tell me that they would have married my husband. That's okay, he married me. <laughs> In the meantime, they're having babies with 55 different men struggling, can't pay their mortgage, can't pay their rent, can't pay nothing. Uh, nothing. Just struggling, always begging, always passing the orphan plate. <laughs> Well, I'm sitting up over here in the best part of our city. One of the reasons I stay in the city because my daughter was going to special needs school in in the city, and the kids in the city they get first preference. I'm living in the best part of the city. Beautiful home, wonderful husband, money in the bank, savings, investments, retirement. Kids going to private school. My son is private school in the whole way. I was, me and my husband was talking about it. He still got this all boys prep school in his head and I'm trying to talk him out of it for Michael to go to high school. Living our best life. And we drive an American car. And these are the same people who say, oh my God, he bought her an American car. In the meantime, you're living in the hood with your kids dodging bullets. <laughs> in the ghetto, in the hood, but you want to talk about my American car. Do you see what I mean? You can't fit everybody. They're driving around in a Benz. They got tied up to a tree. I got a big old driveway that can hold. I forgot how much they said. 10, 15 cars my driveway can hold. On a big old plot of land that we can put another house. Do you see? You can't fit into what everybody wants you to be. You have to just decide where you want to be and be there and be happy and content. Huh? Those same people was running back. They had their baby last week. They was running back to work next week because they, they can't afford to stay home. I was home for six months, girl. Do you see what I mean? You find your lane and you stay in it. And it don't matter 
Do not be moved by what people say, because even in this world, in this time with social media, I'm telling you, <clears throat> social media is a double edged sword. You, you, you get so much information, but if you live by everything people say and do, you are going to be crazy. If you live by everything people say, this is what the beauty standards are. Do you know how many women are getting their boobs and their behind done to, to please a man? Because that's what's pretty. You're not pretty. Your naturally God made body that God made is not enough. You need to go get bigger boobs and bigger ass. Because society say that's what's pretty. You have to find your lane and live in it. I live in my own lane. I don't let nobody tell me how I should live my life or what I should do. I chose, I wrote it down, what I wanted. I believe God for it. And that's how I'm living my life. I'm not going to go get a Benz <clears throat> to make somebody else happy. And God knows. If it's a Benz I want, my husband will go up to Livingston and go bring me a Benz right now. <laughs> That's not an issue. But the car, as long as it's safe, it's safe. But I tell you one thing, my baby's college education will be paid for. He don't got to take out no student loans. He don't have to get in debt. When he's old enough to buy a house, he will probably most likely be able to buy a house cash. So you find your lane and live in it. Don't let anybody move you out of your lane or don't get mad because they said this about you or they said that about you. Somebody's always going to talk about you. They talked about Jesus Christ, the son of God. So how much more you? Okay, so Channing Crowder, that's an interesting name. Russell Wilson's a freaking square. Ciara left future for him. Channing Crowder thinks there's no way Ciara will leave a guy like future to get with Russell Wilson, at least not without some money motives behind the move. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. See, Future got money, but he ain't got no character and integrity, and he can't keep the dick in the pants. Come on, somebody. The ex-linebacker made the inflammatory comments on a recent episode of his podcast, The Pivot, where they were talking about the Broncos' QB uh, quarterback and his wife, whom Crowder apparently feels is in the wrong relationship, inv invoking her ex of several years now. Well, let's... Let's uh, CC speak for himself, Chandler Crowder speak for himself here because he says a lot. And much of it is pretty mean. He calls Russell a square and speculates Ciara is only with him for cash. I don't think she's only with him for cash, but I think that's one of the parts. It's okay, ladies, normalize choosing men that can provide for you. Normalize choosing men who have money. I have 10 factors that I use, general factors I use to choose my husband, and money was number four for me. <clears throat> he had to be born again. He had to be a tither. He had to be a gentleman. He had to make a good income. He had to be able to provide a comfortable life for me and my kids. But I don't think that's the only reason, but I think that's one of the factors. And there's nothing wrong with that. Absolutely nothing wrong. He also theorized there's just no way Sierra would ditch someone like Future and get with Russ, who's seen as his polar opposite, unless there was something deeper fueling her because he thinks all women have a tie and believes Sierra has shown her cards. Yes, all women have a tie. But do you notice, do you notice how Girls usually go from the, the futures of the world to the Russells because they realize the futures of the world ain't no good. So they usually realize most when it's too late to drop the future and get with the Russells of the world, who is a man of character, integrity, stability about his family. You notice that guys, girls that go with the, like me, 
Russell is the type of guy that I would choose to marry. I would never, a future could never even get my phone number. You never, you heart, I don't know, I'm sure there is, but I ain't never seen no girl like me leaving the Russells of this world for the future. I've never seen it. I'm sure they are, but I ain't never see it. But the woman who messes with the future of this world, they usually not, when they, they change their type, go to the Russells of this world. Because you realize that's instability, that's corruption, that's filth over there, that's unstable, no character, no integrity. You run, you're dodging bullets. Okay, and she realized, listen, I've been with these types, the future types, they're not working. Let me go on over here. Congratulations to her. I wish more women would realize that. Unfortunately, too many realize when it's too late. On Sunday, Crowder doubled down on his goofball jabs, posting an old photo of Ross at the NFL draft in 2012 next to his then girlfriend Ash Ashton Meme, whom he mocked in a in a pod. Of course, he got strong pushback from his fellow podcaster who tell him that women want peace and that Sierra and Russ are perfectly happy together as they've been married since 2016. Yes, women want peace. But I wish somebody on there who had good sense would have said there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with her choosing Russell because he has money. However, However, I am 100% sure Ciara did not just marry him because he has money. But was that a part of her decision? Absolutely. Because she would not have married him if he did not have money. I would not have married Michael if he didn't have money. Who would have married a broke man? Don't nobody want to broke. Listen, broke men will broke your life. Break your life, ladies. We don't listen to you. So Russell responded, uh, uh, but the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such there is no law. See what I mean? This is something my husband would say this. My husband would say this. My husband is not the type of man to just go off. He's very, he's very, he'll tell, I'll say, okay, Mike, come on and wait for the answer. You know, because women, our brain work differently than men. Men are not like us. They have to process. Sometimes my husband has the same process. Like, I picked him up Tuesday from the airport. It was it Tuesday? Sunday. Sunday from the airport. And uh, I had already taken the kids out for dinner to celebrate little Michael and so on and so forth. And he had said he didn't want anything. He was going to pick something up. Then he got in the car and said, man, I, wa I want something. And, and my, what happened? He came home a day early. And so I said, well, what would you like to have? And, um, uh, uh, he said, I'm thinking. And so like 10 minutes, later, I said, okay, Mike, we're almost, you know, to make her get off the highway. What do you want? He said, wait, I'm processing it. You're processing what you want to eat. But then I quickly realized that that's men. They have to process it they're not like us we are quick to go off at our mouths because that's how our brains work but men are not like that that's why men are hunters they're calculated they plan out and think out how to catch you how to get you because they are hunters that's why you cannot go up against a man and think you can win him without you having some weapons you can win against him without having some weapons because he'll say something and you think it means one thing and that's not what it means. So see this, this, my husband, this is something my husband would do. He would process it and say, how do I answer this? So it seems the proof is in the pudding here. Namely the fact that they've stayed together this long proves Crowder's train of thought isn't actually supported by reality. Russ and Sierra have been a couple goals for a very long time now. And yet this narrative persists. Russ meanwhile appears to have responded to all the renewed chatter, albeit um, uh, cryptically. cryptically. 
he tweeted uh, the Galatians 5.23. Since he's drowning out the noise, re resorting to his inner focus, prob probs a good idea. Probably a good idea. Absolutely. But there's nothing wrong with that. There's a, you know you know why y'all are mad of it because especially in the black community we're we've normalized struggle. Struggling is normal to us. So when a woman chooses a man who is financially stable so that we can better our lives, it's a problem. It's a problem. Like I know some of y'all are shot. Not the ones you my cousin been here for a while, but people who's just gonna be on my video hearing this. They're going to be, they're going to faint because they're not used to hearing this. That's saying I would not have married him if he was broke. I bypassed a whole lot of men that were broke in all of my years of dating. And my new book is coming out very, very soon. It's another reason why I've been taking some time off YouTube to review my edits. Of all the men I dated y'all. It wasn't until I was in my late 20s, early 30s that I actually met men that I can say, okay, now I'm talking to somebody that I would even consider marrying. And they were all like my husband. Every like Mr. Kryptonite was a CFO. Mr. Rugged uh, worked at uh, one of the biggest insurance company here in New Jersey. And I think there was another one and my husband is an executive vice president. All squares, <laughs> all men of standard who went to school, who was on the straight and narrow, who was all about their family, who's all about providing and protecting all of, and, 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 and guess what? Not None of them had babies out of wedlock, none of them. The three guys, I'm going to say three now, which is my husband, Mr. Ruggin, and, and Mr. Kryptonite. Not one of them had babies out of marriage because they were raised to be gentlemen, go to school or trading school or whatever, be, become a good member of society, find a wife, marry her, provide for her. All squares. So I love squares, okay? I don't like triangles. I love squares. I got to go, girl. It's Tuesday. I love you. Let me know what you think. I don't know if I'm going to come back later. I'm trying to review this book so I could get it to you. Remember, my newest book, How to Read Your Bible in One Year, is available. I'm still going through some internal struggles because I do want to put my picture and my little bio on the back, but this picture of the bread and the wine is just so beautiful. So I'm still kind of deciding. I think I have to decide today because I have to get back to my girl, Rebecca. I love you. Let me know what you think. And remember, 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 pick up my book, 23 Tasks of Guys You Might Meet, and of course, The Naked Wife. And remember to stay in your lane, girl. Don't let nobody bro beat you about what you want in a husband. You the one that's got to spend the rest of your life with that man, girl. All right. Love you. Bye.